Whew. That's right. I'm back here once again. And another anime of this, of the summer season is finally beginning. This time around we have Aldenoa Zero. <laughs> it has Aldenoa Dot Zero there, but I think it's actually pronounced Aldenoa Zero. Wow. Oh my fucking god. Okay, first off, Genro Bucci, so I knew this was gonna be great, but... Wow. I am speechless. Okay. It has so much that I love in this first episode, right? It has... The theme of a space opera. It has, you know, military in both... Well, a little bit of combat. Not too much, though, in this first episode. As well as the military talking and whatnot. It has freaking... That ending. <laughs> it has that fucking ending. Wow. Fantastic first episode, really. Now, before I get into what happened in this episode, I'm going to um, get into the specifics. The animation is amazing. It's done by A1 Pictures, and they are really sinking their budget into this. I just really hope that that doesn't mean that Sword Art Online, which I haven't watched the first episode of the second season yet, is going to suffer because of you like a budget, but... Seriously, though, animation wasn't the best I've ever seen, but it was still amazing animation in this first episode, all right? Fucking amazing. <sighs> the music was incredible, especially, like, the in there. If you remember Kill La Kill, the song, uh, it, everyone calls it Don't Lose Your Way, but it, I know that's not the actual name of the song. But that same singer is singing a different song in the, set, in, in the first episode of this anime. Of, of all in all a zero uh, at the end of it when all hell breaks loose basically and it sounds amazing and all the other music as well there actually was no uh, opening in this episode which was kind of odd so I can't really comment on that but the ending was really good w was pretty good it was a nice slow beat slow yeah slow beat song slow paced song whatever all right so yeah anyways though that being said Let's get into what happened in this episode. So, All in All Zero takes place 15 years after human beings had colonized Mars. And there seems to be some prejudice among a lot of the Mars humans. They don't, not all of them, but a lot of them don't like humanity from Earth. They call it old humanity, I, I believe is what they called it. And, however, they are still trying to... Apparently they've been like fighting this like war with them, but they're they've launched a ceasefire and they're trying to make amends with them, make peace with them essentially. So Mars is sending down their princess, which I forget what her actual name was. Um, sorry, it'll take me a little while to remember names here, but they send down her princess along with some bodyguards, I'm assuming, in order to try to make peace. However, a missile's launched at the car, destroying it, and I believe all the other vehicles as well. Which, of course, obviously, all, uh, we don't know exactly who did it yet, but I'm assuming that it was just, just some detractors who, of Earth who don't want to um, make peace with Mars. I highly doubt that that was just the entire, all of Earth's intentions all along, you know. But, of course, Mars takes that as a direct attack, so they decide to launch an all-out assault on Earth, and that's when all hell breaks loose. And shit goes down. Earth is fucking demolished. And it's amazing. Like, the animation definitely is best there. The animation in that final scene is absolutely 100% perfect. Beyond perfect in that one scene. It's amazing. Obviously, there. I mean, you can definitely see the prejudice even up in Mars because there's this one uh, old Earthling up up in Mars. For some reason, we don't know exactly why yet. By the way, they call them Terrans. I guess that's their uh, discriminatory discriminatory uh, word to call them. 
Okay. Terrans. And he's a Terran, basically, and he's... I'm, I'm guessing he's in love with the princess, okay? But he, the uh, princess, I guess, like, personal bodyguard, or maybe he's the guy who just makes her do everything that she needs to do as a princess. Hates him, slaps him on the ground, tells him to, or slap, hits him across the face, so he falls to the ground, tells him to know his place. Okay. Um, all we know so far is that the princess apparently saved that boy and his father 15 years ago. Or no, five years prior to the start of the series. That's really all we know so far. Why he's up there, we don't know yet. Okay? Um, but, yeah. And I'm going to make a prediction. No, I'm going to make a prediction that the princess is actually still alive somehow. Maybe someone saved her. Maybe she has, I don't know, powers. Who knows? I, I had to go considering this seems to be, at least so far, just a standard mech series with technology. Not really any magic, though, but... I don't know, someone might have saved her too, you never know. I'm guessing that she's probably still alive, because introducing a character like that, who you think is going to be a major character in the future of the series, and then just killing her off, it's kind of a dick move, I think. I have no problem with killing major characters off, but just like that? No, I'm not a big fan of that, so I really hope that she is still alive. If they want to kill her off later, after we've grown to truly love the character, then fine. I'm all for that. But... Right now, I definitely want her to be alive, and I predict that maybe someone's actually saved her. At least I'm hoping. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, that pretty much does it for my review of All the Noah Zero Episode 1. I don't know what the title is. If I ever find out, I'll put it in the title of this video, but... <sighs> wow. Great first episode. Of all the first episodes I've seen so far, which were, uh... Sailor Moon Crystal, All the Noah Zero, Tokyo Ghoul, um... Shirogane no Ishii, Glass Lip, uh, I think that's it. So out of all those first episodes I've seen so far for this summer season, it's one of my favorites. Probably, mm, I'd have to say my second favorite of them. Yeah, my favorite is still Tokyo Ghoul so far, but... This has to be on my second favorite first episode so far. Then again, I still have a lot left to start watching for this season. In including like two or three more today. <sighs> Anyways though, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.